Hello everybody and welcome to another very controversial knockoff or fourth party as they're now being known review. This is the Transformer, fake Transformer Dino Bot from Beast Wars. He is aptly known as Dino Saw. Quick look around the box. We have him in his beast mode. We have some artwork, uh, presumably stolen <laughs> on the back there. And we have him in his robot mode there. That's about everything we get on the box. And he comes packaged in a plastic clamshell with his weapons and a single sheet instruction. Now, why, I hear you ask, is this figure so controversial? Rumour has it that this was not paid for by the production company. Uh, basically, there was an original kind of Shapeways model of this uh, where you could print your own off, paint them up, and make your own Dinobots and people say that this company has basically ripped off that design and produced this figure uh, without giving any credit to the designer now I don't know if there's any truth in that I know there's truth in the fact this was originally on Shapeways but I don't know for certain whether they paid the designer or not uh, for all i know they could have paid him and this could have been a legitimate attempt at a dinobot but that being said we are very soon getting a masterpiece dinobot which is nigh on animation accurate uh, this i believe is more of an attempt at a masterpiece style dinobot based on his toy appearance lovely head sculpt on here love those beady eyes um, first impressions it's not a terrible plastic it's definitely not dollar store or poundland plastic but at the same time it's definitely uh, nowhere near on par with the lights of the takara masterpiece figures the paint apps themselves look pretty crisp very nice bold blue on there but I fear that this guy may be somewhat hollow when we get him transformed up we have some pretty sharp teeth going on there I don't own the original Dinobot anymore I used to own all the Beast Wars figures but unfortunately they uh, never made the cut so a lot of people ask how my collection is the size that it is I sell a lot of my older figures to buy newer ones that's uh, how my collection works. I'm more of a uh, toy foster carer as opposed to a toy parent. I guess they come in uh, in the door, get loved, and then they leave being a much better toy. A uh, very nice scale. I don't think he's that bad at all, considering he's a uh, velociraptor. Uh, I, I don't know how big they were. I imagine they were kind of human sized or maybe a fraction bigger i don't know but uh, cheetor is a large cheetah <laughs> so you know i don't think that's completely improbable i mean if you're on a tight budget i think you can make that work you know, as lovely as a toy mode is he does transform there is some parts forming involved we pull that tail off now much like the original toy we can split the tail uh, you do kind of need a nail or something to split this uh, but it does unpeg all the way down and opens up like this get one which is already interlocked inside this now I would have liked uh, some of that kind of chain looking detailing on the inside here to make it more kind of screen accurate uh, but like i said they're going for toy accuracy with this as opposed to animation accuracy come to these legs bring these legs up like so that now allows this piece to pull away from the underside and if we lift this piece up on this rather peculiar angle that now allows this piece to come all the way down and to the back 
these arms are going to come around fold these paws upwards bring that down and then bring that heel spur down so they kind of close off the back of the legs to reduce how hollow that section is uh, doesn't do an amazing job but uh, it does the job none the less these knees can be rotated around there's a rotation tab just on the underside here you want to rotate this all the way down and we can now bring this back piece in and that's going to allow this to tab onto the back like this now if we look here there's this rocking hinge here these arms are going to rock up and as we rock up that folds over and they're going to come all the way up to the top bring this hinge forwards untab these wing panels on the back of the dino head that now folds this piece down and it looks terrifying bring the bot head mode up and we can bring this piece up bring these back over tabbing those in and then we can bring this neck rotation piece down opening up the jaw as we go and then the jaw is just going to collapse down behind that lower torso and then push and secure firmly into place we can then bring these shoulders down and around bending those hands up they now become the fists and the same with this side bring that around rotate bend and bring those up and around and here we have him fully transformed up into his bot mode it's different uh, it's definitely reminiscent of the original toy uh, but definitely miles from anything that resembles the animation model this <laughs> this just looks rude uh, i don't even want to say what that looks like uh, but we can just put the separate sword piece in that just plugs in to the hand and these go around and wrap around his fingers we have the gun in this hand the sculpt on the head is not terrible that's actually pretty nice but i just don't like how this whole torso piece looks or feels i'm sure i've uh, transformed that correctly and it's just not not very nice really the head can look left and right we can go up and down can lift up on a tilt there can kind of pose side to side the arms can come out to the side we can go up and around it does want to bring up this whole torso section with it but if we hold that this entire piece here rotates around we have an upper bicep rotation we have a 90 degree bend on that elbow we get rotation on the wrist we get movement on both sets of the fingers although the trigger finger is sculpted into that position we have no waist rotation whatsoever there's no abdominal crunch we have legs that can come forwards out to the side go back that far hindered by this backpack section uh, very hollow thighs with mushroom pegs for the rotation at the knee we get a double jointed knee bend and that's not too bad coming down to the feet we can go forwards and backwards on the toe we can go left and right and because it's on a ball socket we do get a little bit of rock emotion there as well but like i said he is by no means a masterpiece figure he looks okay but okay doesn't cut it for a lot of transformer collectors uh, this is a good bootleg figure it's a nice knockoff it's a fun toy the dino mode is quite comical the gaps in the backs of the legs have almost 
been masked by those dino arms, but I'm not entirely sure that it pulls off what it was trying to deliver. If people want a budget Dinobot which resembles his original toy, I would probably go out and buy the original toy. This feels very much like it, but it just doesn't have that wow factor like the original did. And let's face it, this is nowhere near what Sakara are going to deliver with their masterpiece version. And just for the sake of a scale comparison, here is alongside Cheetor and MP10 Prime. It's actually the first time I've transformed Cheetor since I've had him, and uh, his feet are on the wrong way around. His left foot is on his right foot, and his right foot is on his left foot. Is that a common fault? Never even watched a video on Cheetor. He's kind of just sat there in his Cheetor mode <laughs> since I bought him. But, uh, Wow, well done there, Takara. <laughs> Just great job as usual. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Slightly underwhelming dinosaur from Transfamers. Uh, think of it what you will. Uh, it is a budget Dinobot for the Beast Wars fans. Uh, thanks to TF Direct for sending this out to me to take a look at. Personally, this is definitely not my cup of tea. I just don't think it's up to the kind of standard that we're used to with knockoffs, let alone third party figures. But this may be for some of you. And if it is, I've included a link in the description below where you can order it. And until next time, from myself and Dinosaur, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.